Right, man, let's do a little window down. Go on, then. Hello! Welcome to Scotland! It is windy, it is cold, because we're in Scotland. We have got a pretty crazy car review today. We've got Steve, S30 BMX on Instagram. He's hiding in the wind right now. You're Scottish. Yeah, oh, you're I'm not Scottish. You I are just live here. No, you are pretty much Scottish now. <laughs> Morning, Brad. So Morning. we are out. We're doing a car review. Steve's got a pretty insane V10. V10 Audi R8. It's literally insane. <laughs> this is like probably it's probably the most savage car at the shows at the moment, isn't it? I can't comment on that. You can't comment, but I think it is, I think it is. So we're going to get into it, we're going to do a standard like car check. Um, we're going to go over it, we're going to do a walk around, some arty clips, and then some GoPro clips. He is going to be letting me drive this car today, which is pretty crazy, so I'm hyped about that. It's a V10, it's an Audi R8, it's kind of like the best you can get when it comes into the VAG stuff. So, it's going to be interesting. I do feel like we are slightly blowing every other car check out of the water, which is... Kind of frustrating, but like we're not going to do it while we're up here, so here we go. It's going to be sick. Enjoy. Make sure you go and check out the link in the bio to support my brand owner. Um, we've got a pretty crazy deal going on at the moment on the channel. You get a free t-shirt with every single hoodie. So when you're ordering one of our awesome hoodies, add your free t-shirt. Just pick your favourite t-shirt and you'll get it for free. It's that simple. Crazy deal. It's all made for the winter, so we're all fully clothed, living the dream. Go and check it out, link's in the description. Let's go! We're having a bit of a walk around right now. Obviously, Steve's gonna tell us like the better stuff that we don't know, but the obvious one is the amount of carbon on this car is ridiculous. Carbon wing mirrors, absolutely insane. Are they aftermarket? Standard, standard carbon. I'm guessing these are standard carbon side blades. Yeah. They're insane for this. So this is a Gen 2 Audi R8, for those of you who don't know. Obviously, you could get a V8 and a V10 Gen 1. Could you get a V8 Gen 2? No. So these only come in V10. It's they just... only come in plus and non-plus. They only come in plus and non-plus. So, like, this is non-plus, yeah. but the only differences are it's 540 standard, 
no Ready. spoiler, and so no ceramics. So the plus is like beefier version. Plus gives you ceramics. It's six oh five horsepower standard, but they both take the same stage one map. So you get a non plus, put it stage one. It's like 630, 640, and the plus would make the exact same power. Um, have you had to swap out your ceramic brakes yet? I've not got ceramics, thank God. Oh, you didn't? Yeah. No, and I I'm not doing it, I because I know exactly what you're about to say. <laughs> How much does it cost? How much does it cost to do such a thing? How much would it cost? I'm sure discs are something like 10 grand. Jesus Christ. That's it's the thing I think a lot of us don't forget, like, let's all buy the fancy cars. Until we've got to do the service. You'd have to be in crypto. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're on like 95k nearly on Instagram, aren't you? Yes. 94.5, was it? Something like that. Something like We're that. We're nearly there. Yeah, you're going to tell them to follow you? Everyone needs to follow me. Because? Get me to the 100k. Why do you need to follow you? Because if we do it, we're going to give away an Airlift 3P management and a set of rotoform wheels, as well as a hell of a lot of Maguire's product with a machine polisher. And You're thinking about all the stuff you can chuck in right now? Probably a few <laughs> other good bits we'll throw in as well. <laughs> Get him there, S30 BMX. I'll show you a simple way of putting his Instagram on the screen right now. His Instagram is his reg plate, S30 BMX. But watch the rest of the video first. Don't leave my, don't leave my platform. <laughs> that, I think that's a bit that puts everyone off. Like It's crazy. The I, only bit that people are like 50-50 is the way that it meets this. I, I think it, it puts it off. I I, it's it. grown on me. I was When I got it, it was always, look, we'll try it. If it don't work, we'll take it off. But yeah. every time you look at it, you, it's insane. a lot of people, because we're wrapping it, a lot of people are saying, oh, I know. leave it carbon. You're but getting rid of the carbon, aren't you? I think poor, oh shit. And they give away. Do you want me to take that bit out? No, nah, leave it in. Leave it fine. in. You, you, this fine. It's have you de have you took the Audi badges off it? Only because of the new bonnet. It's on my old bonnet, but the badge will go back on when we wrap the car. Right, got yeah. So, so the, the badge is going back on. Yeah, but it goes on the bonnet, obviously. Jesus, yeah. is these carbon sections on the front? Are these standard or after nah, aftermarket? They're aftermarket. Look at the daytime runners. Absolutely incredible car, man. What, what was your first car, Steve? My first ever car was a 1.2 Polo 9M3. So there you go, everyone. You can go from a Polo. Exactly. To a V10 Plus R8. Too right. Is this a plus? No. So you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have got the plus. <laughs> Sorry, lad. Sorry, lad. It's always one, isn't it? Um, so tell us about the wheels. Tell us about the wheels. The wheels are three piece full rotiform SEF. So it's three pieces the center, the lip, and the barrel all bolted together. They're 20 by 9 on the front and 21 by 12 and a half on the rear. 21 on the rear? Big boys. That's crazy, so it's like bigger wheels on the Staggered, back. Yeah. Is that normal? Uh, not from factory, but when you go aftermarket, it's a known thing. Anyone on R8s and Hurricanes do it. That's crazy. Look at the wheels, man. They're insane. <laughs> so they're three piece. Yep. What, what are the three pieces, as stupid as that sounds? What are the three pieces? Yeah, how can, we, how can we define which, which, so is this? This section's one piece. That's one piece. Yeah. This. The back, the lip. And then. The barrel the, at the back. The, the barrel at the back. Yeah, got you. No way, man. And they're like, they're mounted from the back. Yeah, so they've got the threads, it's reverse mounted, so the threads are like built into the face. Yeah. When they're built and then they're. they're and then built. all three pieces clamp together as you tighten yeah. it up. And then from the inside of the wheel, there's obviously a silicon bead that yeah, yeah. seals it airtight. No way, man. That's crazy. And the brakes are huge as well. Your mate just painted your brakes, didn't he? Yeah, my pal Johnny's just painted them, but to go with it, they were originally, well, when I got the car, they were black, we painted them red. Then yeah. to go with a new colour and whatnot, we've. Uh, Spiced them up a bit. Yeah, it bangs, doesn't it? And these wheels are sold, aren't they? Yeah, these are going to Canada. Canada, that's crazy. And then he's got a chameleon screen tint, which is sick. Fully legal. Yeah, he says. Fully depending, on, depending on the day. <laughs> <laughs> what if like, it's parked in your garage and it's not on the road? Nah, like, it's weird. Cloudier, the more blue it'll be. Yeah, it's crazy. The sunnier in the clear sky. The, the less you can see it. It suits it, doesn't it? Yeah. Nah, no, for sure. Especially yeah. in the white. And then you tint it up front as well, aren't you? They came done like that. Did they, uh, yeah? They you're not did. taking responsibility? Nah, nah, so if I get pulled over, it's uh, it's not on previous you. Previous guy done that. It's not on you. <laughs> and um, what about your BMX? How do you get around with your BMX in it? I don't. So do we're, gonna, we're gonna ride a skate park later and Kelman's gonna go and pick up my bike. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's sick. So for anyone that doesn't know, this car is on air ride. It's on airlift performance, 3P management. Is that right? 3H. 3H, 3H management, so big baller. The difference with 3P and 3H, P is pressure, so it's just air going into them. H has height sensors, so it's better for like going around roads and if different weight in the car, it's done off of a percentage of a sensor. No way. So it'll would, always would keep I the feel the difference on 3H and 3P in my Golf? Yes, but for what you use it for, it won't be worth it. So it's it. more for like track stuff? If you went, like the easiest way is if you set your pressures to like 50, and then you went and got two people getting the back of your car, the back would naturally go down. Yeah. But when you've got H on it and it's sensors, Adjusting. the sensors would automatically put the, the car up to be back to the normal level. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. So can we see the air, can we see the air boot build? Yes, sir. The boot is in the front of an R8. Two posh to have it in the back. <laughs> the, the trunk, funk, whatever you call it. it. So, add the old so, lights. So you got little LEDs, it's all lit, obviously in there. That's insane, did you do that? No, this was done by Car Audio Security slash the tuning store, which are Could down. you drop that a tiny bit? Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah, like that, like that, that's good. Look at that. Go on, it was done by who? Uh, the tuning store, store slash Car Audio Security. No way, man. Who are down in London. They're your boys, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, I've... Uh, they start. They they helped fuel all of this fire that you live in. For sure, in, for sure. They uh, they're my day ones, man. Nice, I've, man. I've been with them for a long time. So what car did you have? What car did you go from after the Polo 1.2? Uh, I went to a Mark 5 Golf. Mark which, 5. That end where the bug started. That was coilovers and a set of BBS replicas. So that was static. Yeah, and then Kerb did every now and again. Got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Mark 6 Golf GTI was the next one. Pissed around with that probably for like a year and then that was on air. That's when, after about a year, is when it started. That went on air, wheels, trimmed the interior, and then that's when the money pit starts, man. Yeah, then you went S3, S3 saloon again, air, full interior, Recaro wing backs, three piece wheels, power. We stage freed that car. That's crazy, 500 horse. Yeah, yeah, 500 horse in that. After that, we went TTRS, Mark orange. 3, wrapped it bright orange. Same thing, wheels, put a cage in that, three piece wheels, stage three that. And stage that, three was that 550? No, 630. 630. 620, geez. 630. That's quick. And then this was always the dream. This, is, this was the car to build. Is this faster than your TTRS? Man, it's so hard. No. Alongside, that would get absolutely killed. But I've said from day one, if you're buying an R8 for speed, it's not the car to buy. Like, unless you're going to drop 30 bags in banging turbos on the back yeah so it's almost like a chunky like, it's still fast like yeah, it's, it's fast it's definitely fast but the sound i put my foot down more to get the sound out of it than the power out of it yeah. like it sounds ridiculous so it's air ride um it's on 3h obviously you've seen the build in the front he's got a few extra additional bits carbon bonnet um carbon blades at the front what are they what would they be, be called uh they class grill. as carbon vent then, yeah, like grill vents or something, yeah. yeah. Something like Carbon grill vents there after marking. <coughs> and then what about up the back end? Is anything is anything modified after marking at the back? Car never come with a spoiler. Yeah, so, so you put that on. Non plus only has a retractable spoiler, so we coded that out, bolted the wing to it. So that's aftermarket, bigger diffuser. Yeah, the diffuser's insane, the isn't it? That's obviously next to it. Again, the carbon on the the vents on the back as well. Is, how much was your rear diffuser? Uh, the diffuser, the spoiler, and the front lip cost me, I think, two and a half grand. Really? Mate, the, their replica, the genuine, <laughs> the genuine same three things, if you buy it from the company, is £14,000. Jesus <laughs> Christ. It's insane, though, isn't it? That's stupid money. I mean, like, it is an Audi R8, so it is obviously going to, like, blow every other diffuser that ever existed out of this world, isn't it? Yeah, but R8 tax is also definitely a thing. Yeah, it's definitely. That's your nothing. And then obviously, I'm gonna shout my mate Tom out right now. Magna plates kit. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. So, lad, can we hear it? Yes, why not? Let's yes, go. lad. Oh, wait there, because we. Sorry. Oh. What's the system on it? Exhaust. Quicksilver. So, it's a quicksilver titanium system. So, it's titanium box with stainless tips but the tips are probably about that long yeah. uh, it had another system on it before that but this system is ridiculous yeah it's ridiculous the video probably won't even do it justice oh I will you it's reckon yeah it's good oh, okay. it's good it's good in that case you'll find out yeah my mic is good man <coughs> and it's against a wall Jesus! 
a bit quiet. Christ! Oh, it's insane. Got a nice pair to it. We've retrimmed the seats, the seats are normal. Yeah. Sorry for I get right in your face. Seats are not good. Seats. Seat, the seats are the standard seats, we've retrimmed them. Yeah. From just where they've obviously got a little bit old. So like now. literally they're the exact same but just retrimmed. Yep. A uh, company called EFS Hydro Dip in Ireland have yep. just recently done all the gloss carbon. Yeah, I've seen so, that. I was going to ask if that's aftermarket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mine, again, the plus does come with matte carbon. The non plus doesn't come with carbon. I've gone, it was originally wrapped forged because of the full steering wheel, but we've gone gloss carbon because I've got a new steering wheel coming that's going to be gloss carbon. So, what? So that's like matte, this is matte carbon at the moment. That's this, yeah, this is matte forged carbon. Jesus Christ, this is a heavy car. Heavy car. So, all this stuff's aftermarket carbon, or is that standard carbon? No, that's all aftermarket, that's, that's all been done. All on the doors there. Be crazy, our new Audi RS3 is like 70, 80 grand. And when I bought this, this, this was 80. Do you, do you want to even put that in? You're not yeah, bothered? Yeah, I'm not bothered. Getting financial. Uh, everyone, man, anyone can go online and look at the price of a car. How much are they, how much are they now? I'm Definitely sure more. When I last looked, I think I could sell this for 86, 87. It's pretty because sick. Of the way that the market's gone right now. Yeah. But mate, anyone can sell anything right now for... It's five, five times the amount. Yeah, it's a crazy world. It's pretty crazy. Does it get a lot of attention when you're driving around? Yeah, it's funny, like... The passenger notices it more than I do. Yeah. Like just driving. Because you're just trying to not crash it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, you have to concentrate, but. Yeah. Y y the passenger notices, even your general public, everyone knows you ain't got to be into cars to kind of know what a car like this is, which is a fun part. <laughs> it's crazy. So, right, steering wheel. Yes. What is drive select and what is the race flag? The race flag is one of Audi's flagship things. It's like a performance mode. So when you push it, there's three different versions, wet, dry, and snow. But that just basically turns everything. It's like a track mode, essentially. Is so, your exhaust valved? Yes, other side, under the start-stop button. Oh, there. That's your, That's your exhaust valve. Yeah, so you can open and close it regardless of what side, what. Is that, stan is that standard, then? I think for the R8s, it's an optional extra. Because I was wondering why it's on your steering wheel. Yeah, it's... Oh, because the steering wheel's aftermarket anyway. No, but that, that comes standard. Does it? Oh, all no, the it says enough. So drive, select and start, stop come on every R8. Yeah. But the sports, the other sport button and the, the, the exhaust valve, I think that's whether it's been specced to go on it or not. It's insane, man. What a build. Now for the fun part. Can you drive it and then I'll drive it? Yes, sir. Yes, G. Let's go. This is going to be insane. Are we going fast? You are. I'm not. <laughs> not fast, fast. fast being I, I 70 wanna, mile an hour on the speed yeah, yeah 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 I, I don't actually want to go very quick I'm a bit of a pussy in a car mate I'm the same driver's seat I'm fine passenger yeah, yeah, seat yeah, yeah. nope even driver's seat though when you're driving it don't, you don't have to go crazy like nah. people just like the car do you know what I mean that's exactly it static vibes innit it's, this is the ride height is it yeah so this is when it's rised on the air this is day to day this is the ride height to be honest it looks good in ride height man yeah no way, man. What a car, man. It's crazy. This is going to be a sick video. I'm hyped. Thanks for letting me do it. So Anytime, glad. son. Anytime. You're expecting, you're expecting at least two followers from the video. If we you? get two, I'm over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like because it's so tinted in this car, it's entirely possible that it's going to be a dark video. But do we care? We don't care. We don't care. It might actually show a little bit yellow. Because that's the only thing with the chameleon. Why is your air pressure 104? Because I'm up a little bit because I come off the curb. Got you. Are you gonna, go down. You gonna drop it? Yeah, once I get off this bit of the road. What do you run your what do you run your pressures at in this car? Uh this runs roughly around like 85. 85. It's it runs nice. a bit higher, but it's this a noisy car's place to be, isn't it? Only when the valves open, like if I shut them. Oh, that is softer. Loud is better though, isn't it? Should we reopen them? We'll open them back up. Nice. So me and Steve are both BMX riders to anyone anyone who's never watched the channel before. Well, do we class ourselves as BMX riders we're, still? We're retired. <laughs> we're retired. We both used to be passionate BMX riders. And then Steve, 15 years ago or something, fell in the rabbit hole of yeah. cars. And I'm only about real talk. 
a year in. Yeah. I've mean, been into cars, but I've never been into like. You've always dabbled in them, like of the cars you've had before and whatnot. You've always had the not the air ride. No, no. you've you've kind of like the fast cars, the fancy cars, but like you say, the, the last year is probably where the the more showy stuff. Yeah. The air rides, the the clean car, the going to shows. Yes. So what power are we running? It's never been on a dyno, and it's what actually going to go soon. It? it should be around six thirty, six forty. Six hundred and thirty. More than enough power. for these roads. That is man. fast. Um, so you're living up in Scotland, aren't you? Dearie me. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with you? <laughs> that took us by surprise. Uh, yes, I'm now in Scotland. Are you sure that was windowless? <laughs> it was. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm originally from South East London. I've been up here, just gone four years, so not bad. Living up here, yeah. Can we have, can we have a little bit of a pull to it? Weird, like where it goes, you can feel it go from like low cam to high cam. So like, when you get to like 5,000 RPM, you can feel it punch you again, almost a bit like turbo boost. Yeah, that does feel like turbo, but, but it's naturally no aspirated. We've got an RS6 on our bottom that We've got an RS6 wants to uh, on chat play. I don't. I, I never approve. We're of not racing. Stuff. No, we're definitely we're not, not racers. Unless he tries to pull out on me, then we're definitely on. If he throws a stone at my carbon yeah, body, yeah. I will be a very angry man. So are we gonna say that in that video? The RS6 can smoke the RA. The RS6 definitely smoked the RA, which that was not a standard powered RS6. No, it's not possible. It's not possible. That's probably stage one, but stage Several one RS6. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, fast. man. They're fast. They're uh they're fast. cars, man. So 640 horsepower, quattro, <laughs> quattro, which is four-wheel drive, which is why I named my dog Quattro. I rate that. Because he's four wheel drive. I'm, I'm all for that. Um, does it feel pretty mad having a car like this? We were saying this earlier. I don't, I think I take it a little bit for granted. Like, I lose my mind every time I see it. This I? is what I mean. And I, I, don't, I think because I drive it, I don't get to see the see it through. Like, yeah, going yeah, along yeah. The You're road living it. Everyone everyone, else is seeing it. And the one thing everyone always says to me is the presence that that car's got on the road. And I'm like, yeah, it's pretty you, crazy. Yeah, it's we great. followed you to the location before. And every single person was just like turning their head. Oh my yeah. god, he's crazy on his TikTok. Oh, he's, You'll be on his TikTok and everything. He's all over the socials right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoked yeah. an RA. He's got it. No, he's got it on the dash cam and everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, You'll have had someone in his passenger seat TikTok right. in their lives. Right? Right. He's the roof standard. Yeah. Yeah, it's they, expensive, isn't it? Yeah, they come like that. And then the, uh, the other extra is you can have them quilted to like cross stitched. Oh, yeah. Some of them come like with a cross stitching in them as well. Jesus. So this thing's insane. Man, it's good. Like, my, the, the seats were just all black leather. Yeah. But because you get all the Alcantara roof line in the pillars, I was like, well, I'm going to put it in the seats as well because it just all, it's a really nice place to be, like, even as a standard car. Yeah, it's insane. It, it's a really nice so place to be. On. Right, so what are we saying? A couple of little pulls. Or maybe just ignore the exhaust noise. Oh, it sounds That's like an AK. When yeah. did you I, only put, I literally only ever put my foot down to hear that. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It's when you let off, it's just stupid. Nah, no, it's sick, man. It's insane, man. The, the scary thing is, and I don't like going fast, like, I, I'll never go to extremes. I've got pals that they'll go on airfields and will batter their car. I get too many mind games. But, yeah, same. But I start thinking what happens to this, this, and that, but. You, you even see them feel there, it will not stop going, like. Yeah, yeah, that was ridiculous. It, it will just keep going. Well, they 30 mile an hour felt crazy then. Exactly, that's what I mean, yeah, mate. it's crazy for 30 Imagine if you hit 35. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. They say it's a 200 mile an hour car is standard. Is that what it is, it. yeah. Yeah, they reckon they'll be I can imagine. Can we, can we have some, like, down gears? Yes, we can. Revs high for yeah, it to yeah, pull, yeah. right? Well, it's so high, it goes That's up to 9k. Yeah, well, 10k. Yeah, it's, it's, it goes up to 10k. But pretty crazy. Now, imagine people that have turbos on these cars. Yeah, yeah. Like, no need. Literally, no need. No, no need. It's a flex. Yeah. Like, yeah. It is a flex. Like, 
I've got turbos, yeah. I'm going to take my bumper off. <laughs> and I can. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. a flex, it is a flex. That's it. Sound man. So can I have a drive? Yeah. Yeah. Sick. We'll you so we'll switch up, we'll switch the GoPro back on. I won't be doing the speed Steve's doing, because <laughs> if you crash it, you buy it, and I'm definitely not buying an R8 anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a minute. The R8. Shit, stood on the accelerator. Are you sure you want me to drive this? Just go easy. Let me hear it. Sometimes it does that, it shocks the management. Really? And resets it. Because it's that crazy. Yeah. Mate, I'm really, really nervous. Right, if you're gonna floor it. I'm not gonna floor it. Right, you'll be fine then. What was you gonna say? <laughs> it, it, will, it will keep fucking pulling. <laughs> so just go easy on it. Can we just go straight in sport, straight in crazy mode? Yeah. yeah. Valves open. Yeah. So this is in sport, crazy mode. You don't want manual or anything like that. You want it to just change the gears itself. No, let's go manual. Let's go manual. Right. You're there in manual. You go. Right. You're good to go. Right. No way. Are we up? Airs up and everything. You're up. Good to go. Nice. This could. Is that on? Yeah. If it's, turn it's on. Yeah, yeah, it's on. It's oh. been on the whole time. Oh, I thought you turned it off. No, no, no. Turned it back on. Oh, Sneaky okay. one, eh? Uh, right. This, this is where I get scared. Are you scared? I'm not a good passenger. I don't. I don't really. Hey, I would nah. never drive your car. Like. Mate, you've driven cars of power before. I've like, driven. I've you've G had the GTRs. I had whatever. it in rear wheel drive for three months at like 700, 600 brakes. How did that go? Messy. <laughs> Is it right? Yeah, sorry, go right. The R8, man. To be honest, mate, I'm not even feared about like crashing your car. It's curb and the red, curb, yeah. and, curb and the three pieces. And please man. remember that they're sold. So yeah. you can curb them, you're down the buyer. Mate, this is smooth. You know like, what it is like? And this is what blew me away with this car, which I've never, because obviously this has got dual wishbone axle malarkey. It's how it hits corners. Like, I've never been in right, a car where right? it just, yeah, right. Yeah, I've never been in a car where it would just pull around corners the way it does. Yeah, like just stuck to yeah, the floor. Yeah, 100%. So we're in third gear. It manual I'm just going to do a little third gear. Maybe I'll do a second gear pull. You know what? It feels so much faster in this seat. It is a quick car. <laughs> That's so smooth. Right, so you've already been in the passenger seat. What did you think felt faster? This. Sitting there? Yeah. Oh, no way. No, sitting that here, feel quick. Sitting here, I genuinely was a bit like, whoa. Do you want another one? <laughs> Come on, let's have another one. It feels so much faster seeing it. It is fast, man. Even just now, just cruising. You know what the worrying thing is, and I say this about all new cars, they're so easy to drive, it's worrying how fast you can be without knowing. Yeah, yeah, well, like, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go over 30 mile an hour in this thing. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the, no it's the noise, man. Man, that's what I love about this car. Like, everyone's like, oh, your old, your old car was so much faster. I'm like, dude, I didn't buy that car, this car to be yeah. fast. Like, 200 mile an hour car, it's like, I don't want to do 200, just want to hear it. And, and we're in Scotland, like, you're seeing the condition of the road. Yeah, they are pretty bad, pretty bad. What, what are you going to do with 800, 1,000, 1,200 horsepower yeah. on roads like this? Would you ever twin turbo it? Yeah, <laughs> straight up. <laughs> just but the flex. For the flex, like, I will make that clear now. It will never be for the power, it will be for the, I've got twin turbos. It's got such a nice pair to it. Yeah. That is unbelievable. So smooth. I can't get over how different it feels being. The it's the best car I've ever driven. It, it's a good feel, isn't it? It's the best car yeah. I've ever driven. It's well better than any of the so, 35s I owned. When I bought this, didn't see it in person. You didn't. Didn't drive it. <laughs> Did you know? No. You were like the flex is enough, mate. So <laughs> it was always a dream car, right? So I dealt with a company called. Premier Sports Solutions, basically they're down the coast, down south, deal with a lot of football players and things like that. Yeah. The salesman was incredible, best person I've ever dealt with. And yeah, well he sold you the car, well, seeing him, but he was this, incredible. This is what I mean, like, and I said to my missus, I went, right, I've taken a gamble here. This needs to blow me away when I get in this for the first time. And from that day, I never looked back, like. Really? Did they deliver it to you then? Or did yeah, you? They, they drove it up as well, yeah. so they, they were really, really So you were in good. Scotland before you got this car? Yeah, I was in, so I moved to Scotland, then probably, I was in my S3 at that point, maybe six months of being in Scotland, eight months. Yeah. Got rid of it, thought, you know what, I've had it for three years, enough's enough. Got the TTRS, dude, that lasted about 18 months. That was yeah, the yeah. shortest I liked car it, I liked I it. I loved it. 
Um, TTs are a really <coughs> heavy build. Mini like, R8. Yeah, they it are is, mini R8. Especially inside it, Mini R8. Um, and then I... Right, man, let's do a little window down. Come on, then. That's insane. Bro, my yum yum's going all over the place. <laughs> Greg's like, <laughs> mate, it's really fast in the higher rev ranges. That's what I mean, like when you hit like yeah. a 5k, that's when you really feel the car come yeah. to life. So I drive a Golf R, if you've never watched my channel before, I've got an air Golf R, Steve sold me the kit for the air. We've got a Golf R next to us. <laughs> a red one. <laughs> Who's in it? He don't want the sauce. She doesn't want the sauce. She doesn't want the sauce. What a build, man. This thing is insane. We're not done yet. We're not done. Here we are. I need to get my wedding out of the way, then the fun When, when the are you getting married? August. August this yeah. year? Yeah. Jesus. So once that's out of the way, the turbo fund can, uh, so can begin for the flex. People are going to be watching this video right now, tomorrow on Sunday. What yeah. colour's the car going up and you're not saying yet? I'm not saying yet because if they're watching it Sunday, it's not too soon. It's, it's not bright like I normally do. This one's subtle, but it's one I've wanted to tick off the list for a while. We'll, t we'll give them a clue. There's a vehicle that's been on my channel. <laughs> that's a good clue. Yeah, you can say that. That's been the same colour. Agreed. <laughs> Over the whole course of the years of my channel. So that, that narrows it down to about a thousand cars <laughs> and a thousand colours. <laughs> If you guess it, we'll give you a tenner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a build, man. This is, this is straight up the nicest car I've ever driven. Yeah, it blows, yeah. Uh, until you actually drive them, you realise how easy they are and yeah, how yeah. nice they are. Like, like, you could daily this. Yeah, oh, easy. It's the so only, the it's only so thing so with this stuff, there's two styles of seats. These are obviously like the upgraded version. These can get a little bit tough on long journeys. Yeah. Like, when I get to about three hours deep on a drive down south, yeah. the old back feels it a bit. But, mate, other than that, you can daily this car, no problem. What's that? How good does that sound? It's insane. Some, some notes coming out of the yeah. back of that lake, isn't there? Yeah, for sure. Steve's being an absolute crazy bastard. And he's airing it out from the passenger seat without straightening the steering wheel good. Check it. I've done it too soon! You did it too soon, you did it too soon. <laughs> Going back up. Insane. Right, so he's got an air out, let me show this. Unreal. Unreal build. What a car. Mate, before Mate, it's I... it's a chore getting out though. Before I outro the video, do you want to shout any of your sponsors or anything out, or do you want to say hello to anyone? Shout out most of the brands that I've been working with for a good while. So Airlift Performance, Rotoform, APR, Maguire's, the boys at Car Audio because, well, I'm going to partly blame them for even falling <laughs> down this rabbit hole. Uh, but yeah, other than that, follow my business, Offset Auto House, and my own socials, S30BMX. Yeah, they can find all of that stuff on your Instagram though. That's it, go to my Instagram, you'll it's find it. the everyone, easiest way. For sure. And to find Steve's Instagram, Make sure you say thanks to Steve on his Instagram for letting me film a video on his car. S30BMX on Instagram. Get involved. For a reason in Scotland. That's going to be the end of today's video. Make sure you get involved in the comments below. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Link in the description for me brand owner. If you're interested, you get a free t-shirt with every single hoodie. I'll see you in the next video. Get involved in the comments with what cars I should do a car check on next. And yeah, just, you know, you know where everything is. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out until next time.